ya la estoy curando. Este es ya la casa. Ya la. Este es por andar. Ya la casa, güey. Este es el person que nos vamos a estar con. Este es el person que nos vamos a estar con.
glories to the assembly of the Lord. Hey! All glories to the assembly of the Lord. Hey! All glories to the assembly of the Lord. Hey! Hey! Vishnu, 
इति विज्ञानिराधी तम सो देर इज नथिंग हायस्ट देन दिस होम डॉक्टर ऑल द सैड रोड लाइक दिस हा देवी का तू भर गद गद याचा जाचे निपत्य गो वि दंडवत उदघटाती अस प्रसाद मुदत्या गांधर्विके तव गणी गणना श्रीमती गादी के प्लीज एट मीट मी इन योर स्कूल एंड रजिस्टर्ड माई नेम इन योर इन द नेम्स ऑफ लिस्ट ऑफ योर ऑल मेड सर्वेंट्स आई ओनली वन वेताजी जी तो सच्चिदानंद घन कृष्ण दिस वुड बी मसी फुल टू स्पेंड टू हिम मसी सो दैट ही आर सी शुड बी हैप्पी फॉर दैटर सो इन दिस प्रेयर इन दिस मंत्र ऑफ वेद गोविंद शुड बी मसी फुल कृष्ण शुड बी मसी फुल निशिंग देव शुभ मसी को रामचंद्र शुभ मसी को हनुमान शुभ मसी को ऑल डिवोटी शुभ मसी को राधा कृष्ण कंजूह धर मसी को ऑन हिज बर्थ बहुत प्रमाण आई मन पैक दिस इज यू शुड टेल टू वर्ड्स दिस राधा दास्यम की थॉट टू अस दिस अबाउट आवर शिव खाओ था and that's why you see that so many of prabhupada's disciples have given up everything and are following him around the world and are engaging in his service in the service of prabhupada even the um pranam mantras to prabhupada shri gurudev gave us the deep meaning of what they mean um jai nichilila pravishta om jai we're praying to prabhupada that uh you should be victorious my mind and senses are on one side as demons and you should be jai jai means jai jukta you should be victorious and my mind and senses should be defeated by you and you should control them and nitulila he's teaching us by his mercy we know exactly where prabhupada is what he's doing in the service of radha and krishna how he's serving them at different times of the day Pravishta, he's entered into that Nichilila. Eternally, he's from there, and by past times, he's gone back there, and inviting us by sending his representative to help us join him there. And Vishnu Pad, even Vishnu Pad, we didn't know what that meant until we met Shri Gurudev. Because which Vishnu is that that Shri Prabhupada is serving? That Vishnu that Shri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur describes in the Shrimad Bhagavatam. that vishnu who is krishna who became many in the rasa dance that krishna prabhu is serving in the rasa dance and engaging in so many services there astotra sat sri astotra sat i asked chilagri dev in bali a few years ago what does that mean he said astotra sat means 108 so 1 and 8 equals 9 and 9 is the ultimate number So our Shiva Prabhupada and all of our acharyas in our line have the ultimate number of sri's as their quality. All material opulence, beauty, wealth, fame, strength, renunciation, all spiritual opulences of Vaikuntha or Krishna Loka, all the Lakshmi's, all the gopis and Radhika herself has invested her sri, her beauty uh, in the in the heart and prabhu is a manifestation of that sobham or sriyam 
for service to the uh, lotus feet of Radharani and her service to Krishna. So Srila Gurudev is bringing us to the deepest understanding of Prabhupada and his books, uh, and even teaching us how to read his books by praying that, O oh, Prabhupada, and whoever is commenting on the book, O oh, Visvanath Chakrabari Prabhupada, and oh my dear Shiksha Guru, you are sitting with me as I'm reading, and you are my Shiksha Gurus. So please take me and dive me into the deepest understanding of what I'm about to read. So we're so grateful to Srila Gurudev that he's giving us Prabhupada in the most, most deep way. We're eternally indebted. Um, I was thinking, standing in the back in the kirtan, that somehow I would have to say something here today. So I was thinking, what should I say? But then Prem Prayojan saved me and gave me something written by a dear follower. So I should read that after I just give a short introduction. And that's that... Everything that any of us do should be gauged on what bhakti it produces. Anukulyasya sankalpa pratikulyasya varjana. We reject what doesn't help our bhakti and we accept what does. This is the rule of a Vaishnava. And the real question then is how do we know what helps my bhakti? But Srila Prabhupada always thought that was a very easy question. And he quoted another verse, the Bhagavatam verse. Bhakti parishanu bhavo viraktera nyatra chai satrika eka kala prapadyamana syatakshanata shus pushti pushti kshuda payo nagasam. Which means that just as when you eat, there are certain symptoms that come from eating, and one feels fulfilled in having had that meal and no one can tell him that he hasn't eaten and felt the satisfaction of eating. Similarly, when you experience bhakti, this, a similar but transcendental uh, fulfillment comes in the heart. And it's very easy to know that, yes, I'm making advancement by accepting this particular thing. Yes, I'm making advancement by rejecting another particular thing. So I would just like to suggest that Anyone who has the time to come and be with the devotees here and with Sri Narayan Maharaj over the next few days will have that taste of fulfillment and know well what to accept in their devotional life. So, other than that, if I could read this. This is from, you might remember, Anantacharya. You met him, Brahmachari. Glasses in Hawaii. Oh yeah, small. Yeah. Uh, saffron cloth. The elderly person. He was everywhere. In, in small came to Maui and also Maui to and the other. other. So he says, in recent days there has been frequent talk of pickpockets. What has to be the world's best pick? The, the best pickpockets in the world are in the country of Guatemala. When a Guatemalan takes something from you, he does it so smoothly, so perfectly, so politely, and with so much expertise, that when he gets done, when that pickpocket is done, you feel that whatever he took from you must have actually been his property all along. Uh, and that's a fact. So, you have been, you, so now you have an introduction to what comes next. Because it is rumored that in your neighborhood, there is a transcendental pickpocket. <laughs> who has been imported from a foreign place, from far, far away. From a region wherein the inhabitants are accustomed to stealing each other's hearts regularly. <laughs> when this pocket takes from you that which he wants, he does it so nicely, so sweetly, so wonderfully, and with so much love, that when he gets done, you'll feel that what he takes actually belonged to him all along. Right from the start. And actually, that's the fact. So then he gives a short story 
1977 in Vrindavan, India, November 15th. Some of you may have the date emblazoned forever in your heart. Uh, Srila Narayan Maharaj took charge of the sri, uh, pre-Samadhi Parikrama and Samadhi preparations for my Gurudev, His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Srila Prabhupada. Bhaktivedanta Srila Prabhupada. Although Swami Prabhupada had departed the evening before, we continued to serve and worship His Divine Grace throughout the night with a Parikrama of Vrindavan and a Samadhi plan for the next day. The following is an ep- excerpt from a diary of a devotee from the diary of the devotee who is writing this letter, Anantacharya. By 5 a.m., everyone is back. As Mangalarati ent- uh, starts a little later, many devotees turn their backs to Srila Prabhupada in order to pay prostrated obeisances to the deities. Narayan Maharaj and his associates remain motionless and do not budge. In no time at all, Narayan Maharaj is laying it on the line to Gopal Krishnadas. <laughs> The devotees are to stay at the Vyasa Sam, facing Srila Prabhupada, and there is to be a simultaneous arati for Srila Prabhupada and the, at the Vyasa Sam, while the arati also goes on for the deities. Gopal Krishna quickly gets everything arranged nicely, and a nice arati is held at each of the three altars, plus at Srila Prabhupada Vyasa Sam. Srila Narayan Maharaj leads the kirtan and winds everything up with repeated resounding, Jai Gurudev, Jai Gurudev one after another. The Parikrama begins at 6.45 and the palanquin is lifted from the Vyasa San and carried to the center of the courtyard where we circumambulate Srila Prabhupada with more chanting. When we proceed through the front gate of the Mandir down the road to Vrindavan and the Parikrama, Parikrama to each of the seven temples of Vrindavan, uh, Srila Narayan Maharaj is arranging everything so nicely, leading the procession, leading the kirtan, and seeing with great attention that everything goes along perfectly for our Gurudev, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Narayan Maharaj is now conducting the Parikrama, acting on behalf as our very capable leader, and seeing to it that everything is conducted nicely for Srila Prabhupada. For the next six hours, Srila Narayan Maharaj is indefatigable watching everything and continuously providing the devoted and competent leadership needed so that all the details of the Parikrama and the Samadhi are executed perfectly. That excerpt was written 22 years ago in 1977. So this letter is an offering to His Divine Grace, Srila Narayan Maharaj, from someone who was very much appreciating everything that he did for my Gurudev, and his disciples on that morning, right from the beginning, and everything that he has been doing for us ever since. Just like my own Guru Maharaj, he's simply wonderful when it comes to sweetly, graciously, and lovingly stealing your heart and putting it in his pocket. Thank you very much, your devoted servant, Ananta Charya Das. Jalaka Prabhu, all Jalaka Prabhu, please come and can speak to work. I have no idea what to say. Uh, it was just our good fortune to have Maharaj come to our home out of all the people and all the devotees here in Alachua. And somehow, someone from Miami, was it, um, who was it from Miami who got in charge? And Kanti had, had, had called and talked to uh, Mitravindra uh, Murli. Uh, the, who teaches a school in our in our room in, our, in one of our rooms every day, and she asked me if I would. Well, it's a big impossession, Jalakara, and you know it will cause a lot of problems. But could you host the Ryan Maharaj? <laughs> and, and immediately, I said yes. <laughs>
what a, what a wonderful opportunity for myself and for my family <laughs> and for everyone here to have the darshan and association of a saintly person, a pure devotee. And I'm not thinking Gaudiya Math or Iskan or Chaitanya Math. I'm thinking Vaishnav. In my life, the most important thing is the association of Vaishnavas. And I don't discriminate about the association of Vaishnavas, I try and associate with all Vaishnavas. And this is why we came to this place, Alachua, because there were so many Vaishnavas here that we could associate with, and that we could raise our children in the company of Vaishnavas, and we could live simply, and live happily, and we could chant Hare Krishna. So, on, on behalf of all the residents of Alachua, I'd like to welcome Maharaj to our humble home and our humble community, and I hope that we can give you a fitting welcome, and I hope that we can hear from you attentively, and that we can learn about pure devotion. And thank you very much for making the difficult journey to this insignificant place, Maharaj. Can I sit down now? <laughs> Well, the first thing I feel most blessed because, like a uh, a dog trying to always catch up with a master, in the last five years I've always been right behind you. I've just come to LA or some area where you leave, or Badger, and you're going, or I go to India, and you just left. And, I've constantly been missing the mercy. So my greatest fortune is uh, to have the opportunity to have that mercy. And in, in coming here this evening, and for the last year's hearing, reading, hearing so many of your pastimes, your activities, things you've said, and talking to so many of my God brothers and God sisters, in behalf of all of them, I want to thank you because something that we've needed for a very long time, and that is a cementing processing, helping the devotees, because so many who had fallen away or run into difficulties or whatever, by Krishna's arrangement, you've come and you've enlivened their back into a, our <coughs> conscious culture and once again engaging in bhakti. And for that, there is no uh, applause, there's no compliments, there's no thank yous that we could possibly show you. I wanted to turn to another discussion about another Vaishnavi, and that's Mother Jadarani. Um, as I see Mother Jadarani, I think back, this July will be 30 years that I came in contact with Srila Prabhupada and was initiated one year later. And I joined on Henry Street in Brooklyn. <coughs> And I was, uh, as Puru will, will also remember, we worked in the incense business and we were putting together and it was one of the most major, you know, financially uh, making things that we did in order to bring in the income. Um, we went in one year, John Ryan remembers, from 28 devotees in the temple to 128 devotees in the temple. And we had three floors upstairs in the attic, and we had two um, um, basements. I had the great fortune of having my office in the second basement next to the heater, <laughs> along with, some, along with uh, uh, some other well-known devotees. Um, once in a while, I could get a break and sort of crawl out of that second uh, basement, and I'd make my way, always was my choice, to make my way one block away to the art department, and only almost crawling on my hands and knees would sort of slowly 
merge up to Jadarani as she was painting, always with the same bright smile that you see her here today, nothing different. <laughs> and it's, she would always speak such wonderful Krishna Kata that it was enough to keep me going to the next time that I could crawl away and to try to run I'd like to open Kirsi in my respectful face. <laughs> You know that from the very beginning when I joined the mission in 1946, Articles. 
in English, in any body. And then I sat there and found everything. It was so merciful to me. He has written in all these relations in his letters. I think there are more than three hundred letters in English and Gali. He wrote from various parts of America. So, so I know him from very beginning. When Guru Maharaj started one Bengali monthly magazine and Hindi magazine, oh, he invited Swamiji, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Prabhu, and he kept the editor in chief. <coughs> Very good writer. So, <coughs> He used to give me articles. I, sometimes I used to translate from Bengali, sometimes he used to write me in Bengali and I used to translate in Hindi. And then he began back to God him in Hindi. Then he requested me that he used to give articles for me. I promise that I should do. You also perhaps know that when he left his home, like a, a street era in Mathura, a street era, he came to Mathura. Anyways, nothing, no, nothing actually. And he came to me and I requested him. I brought him. He was staying in another place. I requested him. Oh, you should come here. And I brought him in. Special devotion. And then he came. He was with me several months there. First I requested him that he was so much a person. And Prabhupada wanted to uh, wanted that you should preach in English if you are in there and in foreign countries. And you are like a beggar here and there. Going on. You must take some yes. First I told him. And then I also requested my Gurudev uh, that uh, you should write later him. And he should, he must take some yes. He also requested me. And at that time he told me one story. That when I was initiated, I began to read Srimad Bhagavatam. And in Srimad Bhagavatam there was a slok. Jasya Jada Anugranami Harishe Tadhanam Krishna himself telling that if anyone takes my shelter, then I make him a straight pillar. So I was very much feared. And so, if I am going to be a very good devotee, then I will have to give up my whole thing and I, I will be a straight beggar. What should I do? And at that time, he was manager of Bengal Chemical. Not manager, but he was proprietor like. He was telling that I was here, but I never uh, give up, gave up chanting her name and reading books and doing all these things. Quickly, my manager post was gone. Then I came to Allahabad. And I started my own business, medical factory. But after one or two years, it was also stopped. Then I started a medical shop, very famous. But after some time, it also stopped. 
Then he began to do some. मेडिकल Then why you are here? And just now, my Guru Dev is coming. And I admit it. And then my Guru Dev came, requested him, God brother, as he must be the one. And he quickly admitted. And thus he took sannyas there. In Mathura. I was, I was like a priest. I gave him dandar, saffron cloth. I taught him how to take it, okay. how to do, use it, and fire sacrifice, and everything I did. And when he took sannyas, I went to Delhi with him, Vrindavan here, Jhansi and everywhere, and suddenly, sometimes in Vrindavan, oh, We both he used to make chata, chapatis. He used to roll on, and I used to cook. <laughs> cook, and then making some ghee, and then offering, and we used to see together and to take chapatis. At that time he has no bed, nothing, no sheet, nothing. I used to give my this chadar, and on that. He used to see it and discuss so many things. And in the last, he called me. Last day. Uh, once also one thing. When he returned from first America, America, I was only one in airport. In airport to receive him, and I sent. All his kartal, books, pages, all the Thai, Peda, and Thai also. Peda <coughs> Selfless, I saw. Him. That is why he has so much faith in me. We have so many relations. First, like my he was God brother of my Guru. So he is my Sikhya Guru. From beginning, I accepted him as Sikhya Guru. And you know that there is no difference between Sikhya Guru and Sikhya Guru. So I respected him like my Guru. And he, without hesitating anything, he used to order me for any his service. And he has written in his letters. You can see his letters. <laughs> That our relation is transcendental. As my relation was to Prabhupada, your same relation to me, <coughs> and that is why the last day he called me. I went here. Is is talking about this talk? He was not speaking. But when he saw me, he had one stroke his my hand in his hand, and he wanted to. Make me sit on his court. Yeah. Hey, but I didn't. I wanted to sit no nearby, but he at once ordered Tamal and others that he should bring chair. Then he brought chair, and then he began to weep and began to talk with him. And now so happy that he has come. As some request to you, he told me so many things, especially what he wanted to tell me. Especially, he told me in Bengali, and for others, he spoke, told me in English. He told that I know that I will not be in this world. So I requested him, 
that you should forgive me. I told something in my preaching that was not correct, only to inspire my devotees, my new 